we'll go over uh, how to create port forwarding in FortiGate. Currently I'm using uh, version 7.4.5 as of the end of 2024. We're gonna uh, just discuss um, a scenario where for example we have a virtual machine and we need to forward uh, let's say three ports 80443 and let's say SSH. Uh, it's gonna be a Linux server, web server. So um, first thing first, um, I highly recommend to go to interfaces and make sure that the WAN port is not using SSH and also change uh, the default ports. So uh, let's go to networks, interfaces. In here, we're gonna click on WAN, double click it to open it, okay. If you scroll down, you're gonna see HTTPS and HTTP enabled. That has to be enabled. Pink is optional. Uh, very often SSH is enabled. So um, to avoid conflicts, I highly recommend uh, disabling SSH, okay? Um, then you apply the change. And the next thing we have to do is uh, create a server object. So we're gonna go to policy objects and we're gonna click addresses. And we're gonna click create and we're gonna call, uh, for example, Linux server. And um, we're just gonna do um, just some random number here. Uh, this is my subnet that I'm using. So I'm gonna do 225 slash 32. Um, and that's it, we're gonna call this Linux server and we're gonna hit okay. Now this is created here but I already created one uh, and uh, I'll show you guys. Uh, it's called Rocky Linux CVE over here. So as you can see, it's uh, 10.100.0.100 and uh, as you can see, it's slash 32. Okay. The next thing we have to do is go to virtual IP. And that's where we create the uh, rules. Uh, so uh, if we want to create a new rule, we're going to call this, let's say, um, SSH port. You would uh, choose what interface the traffic is coming from, and you choose when. Um, if you have a static IP, you can enter that static IP here. If you have a DHCP um, internet traffic, then you can just leave it at uh, default zero zero. Now we need to uh, provide the information where is this traffic uh, forwarded. So in our case DNAT rules will be forwarded to the Linux server which was the demo but in our case it's uh, 10 100 uh, 0 100 which is the Rocky Linux. And um, of course you have to uh, tell what port. So you have multiple choices here. Uh, we're going to do one-to-one. -one. Um, there was no easy way to do, let's say, port 80, 443, and let's say port 22 uh, under one row over here. Um, what you can do, you can do many-to-many. -many, so that would be uh, something like 22. It would be a range to, let's say, 80. So all the ports from 22 to 80. Uh, which I don't recommend. If you have only three ports, unfortunately, you're gonna have to do one at a time. So you gotta do 80, uh, 80, one to one, and you just hit okay, and that's gonna get assigned. Uh, so for example, over here, as you can see, uh, the rule is uh, server 80, and uh, you have to uh, uh, provide the uh, destination IP. And is this TCP, UDP, and one-to-one. -one. So this is the, the rule that I created. Okay, so I created 22, 80, and 443. And uh, that's what you have to do. You have to create these rules, okay? And that's the DNAT rule, and that will allow to uh, open the port from, uh, from outside and allow to route the traffic. Now, one other thing that I wanted to point out, if you want to, let's say, customize, which it's highly recommended, uh, for example, uh, if you have 
like over here uh, remote desktop ports which is on port 3389 but you don't want to open 3389 on the firewall you want to open 65010 for example all you have to do is just go and uh, change this uh, over here and uh, you just you know enter external service here 650110 whatever port you want it to be and that's gonna be mapped to 3389 okay so this is like a custom uh, um, port mapping uh, versus one to one you know 80 to 80 okay once all this is created now you have to go to firewall policy and you have to create a firewall rule to allow this traffic to come in so we're gonna go okay guys the next thing we have to do is create a firewall rule to allow the traffic we're gonna use the one that's actually pointing to the web server so uh this is cv server so i'm gonna edit that but it's the same as creating one so you just name it you choose the incoming traffic as a when outgoing you choose your LAN. uh source it's uh where are you allowing the traffic from we're gonna allow all you can change and choose specific countries if you want now destination is uh, we're gonna choose plus here and then you just scroll down and anything you created in virtual IP will show up in here and then you have to select them. So you're gonna allow, uh, this will be a, a forwarded to the right location. Uh, and then you just have to uh, make sure that schedule is always unless you wanna create a schedule and services you want to allow uh, which will match those ports so SSH is 22 HTTP is 80 and HTTPS is 443 so you just allow these services only and and it will not uh, allow any other services to uh, be activated here you choose action uh, accept uh, I enable IPS uh, default and SSL inspection you just choose certificate inspection and um, also I enable the log uh, allow traffic and I choose all sessions and uh, you can choose security events only, but it's, you know, I have that all session. I wanna see all the traffic and you have to choose enable policy and you just hit okay. And you uh, firewall and the uh, port forwarding, it's all set. So um, you just move this rule to the top or whatever you wanna put it in and uh, this is activated it says accept and uh, that will allow the traffic to be forwarded properly to a specified server thank you i hope uh, um, that you guys find it helpful